Hey guys, Richard Holdner here. I'm at Brian Tooley Racing. We got all kinds of cool stuff going on. We're testing all kinds of different things. We're testing camshafts, cylinder heads, and most importantly for this video, intake manifolds on Gen 5, L83, and LT1 motors. In this video, we're going to take a look at tests on two different Gen 5 LT motors. First of all, the 5.3 liter L83, then on the 6.2 liter LT1. We're comparing the factory L83 intake to the factory L86 intake to an MSD intake on the 5.3 liter. Then we're going to step up and go to the 6.2 liter and compare the factory LT1 intake to the MSD intake. Let's get going. So you guys have been asking for a 5.3 liter L83 intake shoot out. Everybody wants to know how well the L86 intake manifold does on the L83. So the guys at Brian Tooley Racing are actually able to do that test. So we got a 5.3 liter L83 test motor. It was run on the engine dyno with the, you guys ran factory management system on that, right? Yep. James? Okay, factory management system. Uh, obviously they could program. It was run with a set of inch and seven eighths headers and they have a three inch exhaust on there. Yeah, with uh, mufflers on it. It was also run on E85. It had a custom Brian Tooley Racing cam that they're developing somewhere in the 218 to 220 at 50 range. That's all that they would tell me and told me that they would kill me if I had, <laughs> if I told them what the specs were. But basically it's a stock LE3 with a cam in it. It's got headers on it. And then they ran a bunch of different intake manifolds off. So we started off with the factory L83 intake, which we know is actually pretty good. It's a long runner design. It's designed to enhance torque production because this thing has variable cam time, which they still uh, retain with the custom cam. So the VVT is a very important part of this operation. It helps improve power, obviously, at both ends of the spectrum. So we did uh, what they did first was run it with the factory L83 intake and factory L83 drive-by wire throttle body and run with the camshaft. This combination proves 478.6 horsepower and a whopping 456.5 foot-pounds torque. You can see the very cool thing about these L83s, all the way down here in your 2500 RPM, it was still over 400 foot-pounds of torque, which is an impressive amount if you know anything about the Gen 4, 5.3 stuff. Um, that's a pretty good amount of torque for this combination for a 5.3, and that's why the VVT stuff on these things work so well. They obviously have good head flow, the intake manifold's done right, so the Gen 5 stuff is definitely a step up. So now let's take a look and see what happened when we installed the L86 intake. That's not it. So here's what happened when we saw the L86 intake. It obviously has a slightly larger throttle body as well, but it's obviously a different intake manifold design. We got the uh, <laughs> porting going on in the back, but the peak power jumped up to 486.5. Peak torque was also up in the middle, 461.7 foot-pounds. Down low, below 4,000 RPM, the two intakes were kind of the same, but as we can see out near the top and in the middle part, which is very important, the L86 intake manifold was, you know, a, a good bit better. So everybody thinks that the L86, the LT1 based 6.2 liter intake manifold is an upgrade for the L83. You guys are exactly right. And I tend to think that if this thing had even more camshaft in it, that we would see an even bigger improvement in power. But so the L86, if you find one of those laying around, that's a, that's a good choice to upgrade to your L83. It obviously has a bigger throttle body too. So that's a good step up. Now let's take a look and see what happened when we stepped up to, they installed the MSD intake, and really that MSD intake manifold is designed more for a LT1 size motor or an L86, especially something with a cam in. I'm gonna be showing you that kind of stuff later on as well. But here's the MSD intake manifold, and it made a lot of power. I mean, it, the power jumped all the way up to 513, 512.7 horsepower. But if you take a look, the short runner manifold on this, you know, mild cam 5.3 liter L83 lost torque down low from about 5,400 on down. 
And again, that was actually to be expected because that manifold was designed, as I said, for the 6.2 liter. But if you want a motor that storms on the top end, the interesting thing is this is a 5.3 liter with a fairly mild camshaft in it, yet this thing makes over 500 horsepower with this MSD intake manifold and runs nicely all the way out to 7,000 RPM. So good combination of high flow heads, a short runner intake, and a VVT mild camshaft Pretty impressive combination in L83. So now let's take a look at what happened when we did this kind of testing on an LT1. <laughs> okay guys, you can probably hear the grinding going on in the background. That's Brandon doing up a set of heads for the 5.3 liter that we're testing where he's, he's uh, doing the chamber work on us. Pretty cool though. Hopefully you guys can hear this okay, but we're gonna take a look at an intake test on a Gen 5 LT1. This is impressive stuff. So we compared the factory LT1 intake manifold to an MSD intake manifold on the larger 6.2 liter LT1. This particular motor had a set of inch and 7 8 headers. It had a custom VVT cam uh, that the guys from Brian Tooley are working on for the Gen 5 application. Obviously looking at this, it's going to be fairly impressive. It was somewhere in the 226 to 228 degree duration at 50 range and it was all run on E85 with a you know a factory program ECU so they can control the direct injection and stuff. So it, this was pretty impressive. So basically it was a cammed and headered LT1 and this thing made 565 horsepower and an impressive 520 foot pounds of torque. If you take a look at it, it was over 500 foot pounds from 4,300 all the way out to 5,700. So good. <laughs> these things certainly are impressive, but is as oppressive as they are, even with a stock manifold, that stock LT1 manifold is kind of restrictive. So we can take a look and see, I can show you what we mean here. Let's take a look and see what happened when they installed the MSD intake manifold for the LT1. And we had tested it previously on the 5.3 liter L83 and it did pick up at the top. It suffered a little bit down low on the smaller L83, but just take a look and see what happened on this cammed LT1. I mean, the power output jumped to over 600 horsepower. So 600 horsepower with a cam and an intake on the LT1. And this is a fairly mild cam. This wasn't big at all compared to some of the stuff that we've run on the Gen 3 and Gen 4 stuff. But 606.2 horsepower and peak torque was up as well, 530 foot-pounds. And if you take a look, the MSD manifold made more power than the LT1 from about 47 or 4800 all the way out and didn't really lose anything compared to the stock LT1 intake manifold. They traded uh, back and forth a little bit. You can see that that's kind of a, a little resonance wave that's happening there, but they traded uh, power down below that point, but there was really no loss. So this 6.2 liter, this mild cam 6.2 liter is an impressive piece, especially after they installed the MSD intake manifold. So it just goes to show you the right intake manifold on the Gen 5 stuff obviously works pretty well. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what did we learn from our intake shootout on the Gen 5 L83 and the Gen 5 LT1? Well, the first thing is those motors respond to intake manifolds just like the previous generation Gen 3 and Gen 4 stuff. In fact, the small block Chevys, in fact, really all motors. They responded in the same way. Runner length definitely changes power output. And it's interesting to note that the that L86 manifold was a good upgrade for the L83 on that smaller L83. So it begs the question, why didn't GM just use that L86 intake manifold on the L83? It seems to work very well on both of those combinations. Also take a look and see what happened when we installed the MSD intake manifold on that smaller L83. It made a lot of top end power. We made over 500 horsepower, 512, 513 horsepower with a mild cam, that intake manifold and headers, which is an impressive amount for a 5.3 liter, especially considering the fact that it had the stock short block and stock cylinder heads. So those are big power numbers and there's even more power to be had with more camshaft. But if we take a look at what the MSD intake manifold did on the 6.2 liter, it's even more impressive because that's really the motor that the MSD intake manifold was designed for. And as we saw, it did nothing but pick up power, lost no power to the factory LT1 intake manifold, but made over 600 horsepower, which again is a big amount for a 6.2 liter, especially just an intake manifold, headers, and a camshaft. In fact, with the right camshaft and the right intake manifold on a otherwise stock LT1 with headers, these guys have made over 650 horsepower, and I might be doing a video on that as well coming up. But intake manifolds on the Gen 5 stuff work 
very well. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Obviously, lots more testing coming up.